Welcome back to the morning, Glenn. Well, some people love taking photos of their pets, but the four-legged creatures aren't always as cooperative as that cute pooch. <laughs> you wish, right? Yeah. Rochelle June is here from the Wisconsin Humane Society with ideas for getting the perfect shot. When they got a face like this, though, yeah. right? How can you not, right? How can you not? <laughs> How can you? Who is yes, this, first of all? This is little Doogie. He's a four-month-old Labrador Retriever mix, um, Terrier mix, available at our Ozaki campus up in Sockville. You can call so, him Do Doogie, Doogie Bowser. Yeah. <laughs> and he came all the way from Oklahoma. So oh. with the floods in Texas and in Oklahoma, oh. he came from a shelter in Oklahoma there, um, like several of our other dogs, and um, is looking for a home. He made it all the way up here, and he loves Wisconsin so far. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to join your family, and he's already neutered, microchipped, and vaccinated. So. Oh, you're ready yeah. to go. Get how big? He's all set to go home. You know, we're thinking about medium-sized breed. Um, he's four months right now, so mm -hmm. um, about 18 pounds, and uh, probably about medium to large, large breed. So, okay. got a great personality. He's really so cute. Yeah. And a terrier lab mix. Lab you mix. Said. Correct. Okay. He's yeah. a really sweetheart. Yeah. A real sweetheart. Um. So, th you know. We see so many cute pet mm -hmm. pictures, yeah. you know, as part of our picture of the day yeah. or the calendar that the Humane Society sure. puts out. Um, some people take great pictures. Some people want to be able to take better pictures of their pets. Yeah. Is there a certain setting on your camera or something that you can s yeah. suggest? Well, you know, we say use natural lighting whenever mm -hmm. possible. Um, oftentimes, you know, a flash can spook them or can, you know, give you that red eye effect. Um, so trying to use natural lighting, um, place them in a room with a lot of natural daylight, you know, windows and so forth. Um, um, and then use, you know, take a picture of them in their natural setting. So mm. if they're really playful, you know, get a picture of them showing off their favorite trick. Or if you have a really lazy cat, get a picture of them, you know, sunbathing in front of the window. So, you oh, know, always best, yes, always best Aww. to get a picture, you know, when they're most relaxed and natural. Because when they're stressed or when we're stressed, you know, they tend to pick up off that. And they're like little sponges. Grab it! <laughs> Isn't it adorable? And that's so true, too. You know, definitely taking pictures of them also. If they're lighter in color, use a darker background when you take mm -hmm. your picture. Yeah. If they're darker in or color. Or set them in a bed of flowers. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That picture, seriously, is awesome. With the bag. And the, and the most important thing, too, is to use, you know, props like that that really help to enhance the photo, but not to detract from the subject, which is the animal. So when you're looking at your animal, you know, especially because, you know, they are the main focus, use mm -hmm. props that help to enhance them. So if they're really playful and they like tennis balls or frisbees, you put those in the picture, okay. you know. So, again, you know, not to detract from them with making it too cluttered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there a trick to getting the look right at the camera? Is it like yeah. a snap or a whistle yeah. or a you know, whatever, treat? Yeah, whatever <laughs> motivates your you know your animal. One thing we always say, and we kind of struggle a little bit with this, with animals that aren't used to seeing a big camera, mm -hmm. um, you know, with a big black box, sometimes they're fearful of it, so they don't want to look right at it. Really make that a positive experience so they don't associate a camera with a negative, you know. Yeah. So associating it with their favorite toy or their tr favorite treat, um, whatever will get their attention, mm -hmm. whether it's a squeaky toy or um, a treat, and really try not to make it too stressful. We always say don't bark commands at your, you know, animal because it can make them more stressed. And then you'll tend to get, you know, dilated pupils, flattened ears, um, and they're not looking natural or happy. So mm -hmm. again, motivate them with toys and treats that they that they enjoy. Do you like it when people share photos of their pet on the Wisconsin Humane Society page? Absolutely. You do? Absolutely. I think everybody loves seeing animals. You can always capture, you know, unique personalities, and every animal has such a unique, you know, personality about them. So unique characters. Um, in another great place, too, we actually have our 2016 calendar contest coming mm -hmm. up. Um, so that's another place besides yeah. Facebook that, you know, people can share their photos. Um, okay. We're accepting entries up until July 16th. So now through the 16th of yeah, July? Yeah, I'm sorry, okay. July 17th. Yeah, okay. It's Friday, July 17th. And uh, from now until then, we'll be accepting digital images. Um, if you go to our website, wihumane.org, and click on the Donate tab, we have all the instructions for sending us your photos. Um, all the photos end up in our calendar. They and do. Yes, and it's great. And you guys have judged before, uh -huh. so yeah, you know. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it I really love it. is. It okay. really is. So. Well, Thank that's you, you so can much. share your photo. Otherwise, oh. you can get a uh, maybe a picture of Doogie if you yeah. adopt him. So here's the information for the Humane Society. You can give a call about Doogie at 262-377-7580 or wihumane.org. He'll be available at noon? He'll be at 2 p.m. today. 2 p.m. today. Yes. All right. In Sockville. Yeah. Thank right. you so much. Thanks. Great Thanks, to see you.